this is chiwi he is a 105 million power player who is also one of the r4s in the alliance that i'm in and today not only did he get imprisoned one time but he actually got imprisoned back to back and took multiple city rallies with dozens of players swarming him and well we'll take a look at the results later but i gotta say chiwi handled this really really well he is this dude's a giga chat okay he's like the way bro crazy so today we're gonna take a look at the enemy's attempt to zero chiwi from 105 million power then we'll take a look at the battle reports we'll take a look at his garrison his equipment his armaments and everything but first what's going on guys cheers okay so the first thing that i should mention here is that we actually had a marker saying that the flag that you could see right here this arrow tower you could see that it's about to go down so we had a marker saying that it was going to go down anyway and all these players in this area should be concerned about possibly getting rallied and the cool part was that chiwi was actually already Already in the voice chat all of us are in a discord together obviously that's what most players do when they play in kbk and so he was already in the discord on the voice chat and he knew that he was about to get rallied and you can see right there the rally is already coming so here we see uh this dude great i think his name is great 1v i've seen his name quite a bit he's actually he's actually a savage okay he's we'll take a peek at his account overview later but he he's actually a savage this dude is, goes crazy okay so here they come in with the henry i believe it was a henry juge leong if i remember Remember correctly and you could see that we have the dito on the wall uh is it dido i don't actually know i've seen people pronounce it both i'm calling her dito okay but he's got the dito with juge leong on the wall actually and that juge leong uh, let me tell you bro it did work now I'm, i think heraclius probably would have been a better choice here but you can see that uh that we're doing we're doing pretty good here already okay you could see the red numbers they're pretty much even which is a pretty good sign you could see that chiwi was also given the general title and i also want to point out that he's rocking the star palace city skin this is a zenith of power city skin from 2022 it has 15 percent archer defense so chiwi was not messing around here okay he's a super powerful archer player so he's gonna tank these hits it's like a champion now he also did have war frenzy on for about 11 minutes when they first imprisoned him so he knew that there really wasn't much that he could do he just had to survive a couple of rallies and he should be completely fine he was also obviously healing his hospital and that is super important when you are getting swarmed by the amount of players that the decide that decided to swarm at chiwi and here you could see that the swarms already start coming in and i'm just gonna pause it right here just for a quick second guys i mentioned this on the channel before but if you really can care about having a reasonable trade when it comes to zeroing a player like this you probably shouldn't first of all you probably shouldn't try to zero a player that's over 100 million if there's still a lot of kvk fighting to do okay if you've already won kvk and you're like invading the enemy's starting zone then sure zero whoever you want kvk is over you could burn your troops it doesn't even matter probably should still save them for next kvk but i i get you know i get kind of doing a, a victory lap but we are weeks away from king's land and these guys are warming down a player that's over 100 million power so typically that's just not gonna end well so this is the camp that betrayed us a couple of videos ago if you guys missed that you can go ahead and check that out so i think that they just had a bunch of troops to kill off because like anyone who's played the game for a while knows that like if you start swarming a 100 million power player like it's not it's <laughs> you're probably gonna trade horribly okay and we're gonna take a look at that in just a second but you can see here that like he's taking crazy damage like he's down to 96 million already and instantly look at that instantly bro chiwi was on the ball he knew what he was doing he got the instant heal now that was a gem heal by the way so chiwi who bro chiwi spent a lot of gems to embarrass these guys which is kind of crazy now let me just say really quick once again the rally leaders that were attacking chiwi city giga chads like they are savages i'm not here to say that the rallies on this on chiwi city were embarrassing they were solid rallies the embarrassing part was all the swarms of a hundred million power player holy anyway you saw the first uh you saw the first rally come in and after the rally was finished they burned his city obviously and uh they kept swarming him and that was confusing because everyone's like wait a minute what are they doing like do they know that they're hitting him still this is one of two reports that chiwi got after the very first city rally now as you can see this is not good for the enemy they they kind of i mean that's not bro three to one kill point trade crazy Nineteen thousand deads to 1.6 million i would ask what strategy was there but this there was not a strategy this was just they just threw troops at 100 million power player 
and like that's just what happens i mean like what what are you doing this is crazy to even attempt something like this and look he even has a third of the troops attacking him and he still clapped them unbelievable now this is the i think this was actually the first report that he got this was the report with the actual rally from great 1v okay and here you can see that it was a lot closer in the kill point department but the trade department like the deads bro this is a two and a half to one dead trade here in favor of chiwi once again now we'll take a closer look at some of these reports later in the video but as you can see here like the rally itself is is doing well it's the fact that there's so many people swarming it and there's also so many players that are just standing in the juge leong aoe and then here comes the second rally on chiwi city and as we can see here he already healed so as you saw before he was down to 97 million now he's back up to 101 so here we have a nevsky with joan of arc prime as the next rally that is attempted on chiwi city uh and here you see they use the king skill smart play that's definitely something that you want to do and it's a pretty devastating rally to be honest with you guys i mean a 207,000 hit i mean that's actually kind of insane um and if we just let this play out for a moment you'll see that of course chewy hits yellow first and then the swarms start coming in on the right side and we see once again that these guys just are throwing their troops in the garbage uh i mean again we'll take a look at well, i did the math for all the reports uh we'll take a look at it later um but here you can see that they get the chiwi burn he's at 94 million and then does he get the heal he does right away back up to 100 million and look at that they're still hitting the city oh we see an ethel fled over here bro you see the ethel fled swarming the city you know that's free kills bro oh my god that's so good so he's still getting swarmed down uh which is kind of wild uh to me to be honest with you guys the other thing you should know is that and this is just another tip for you uh if you are going to swarm down a city if you get to yellow you should probably retreat because everything after yellow you're trading so negative that it it, it doesn't like what are you even doing right like just retreat you might as well refresh you could see here that they obviously have the field presence there was no need for them to fight until their troops literally died i mean they could go back to the city they could refresh and come back and keep swarming them if they wanted to swarm them that, that could have been the strategy that they take here but nonetheless they are still swarming he's down to 90 million they are not even rallying him at this point they are just swarming a 90 million power player who has really solid tech uh expertise garrison player zenith of power skin we'll take a look at his gear later but it's it's insane gear okay so yeah they're just going for the swarm they just they keep swarming them down and like it is what it is and look even my alliance over here is in lost kingdom chat just like oh omni's gonna make a video about this <laughs> and then it just it just keeps going it's it's it was actually such a long swarming he's down to 84 million now uh and i think he ended up healing his hospital probably like six times i think he did like four gem heals and then maybe two or three like resource with speed up heals i think that's what uh what occurred here so now he's down to 82 million and as you can see still getting swarmed he's about to get, he's about to get burned again you can see it just lost and let's see here he goes from 82 million which as you can see here we gave him a legendary trophy as if that's gonna make up for the fact that he's losing all these troops right and then boom right to 86 so you could see he did another kind of instant heal there um and he's basically just healing healing down his hospital so that way you know once the imprison is over which you could see he has a, a minute and 16 seconds left um now he's just trying to ride out that imprison that way once the imprison is over um he can he can leave right now he remember i said he has the war frenzy okay so that's why he can't bubble here he still can't bubble and he's just taking insane amounts of swarms which is wild now here we're just going to uh fast forward a little bit he's down to 80 million you see he just healed back up to 82 million um and then they're about to launch their next rally so with everything that's gone down here uh you could see that this is only their third rally so a majority of the damage that they've dealt here and he's down to 79 million now um a majority of the damage that they dealt is just from swarming and i don't even know what happened to that rally you see it like turned around i don't know what what is what is that rally doing lilith hello what's happening what is this what's going on there oh there's the rally oh it connects and what's happening it's did they break it up they canceled it right away okay they canceled the rally right away i don't know what just happened there maybe i'm stupid or I, I i don't know but uh he's still getting swarmed he heals back up to 81 million okay i don't like this was such this was such an amazing thing to watch in real time because like 
we were all on the uh on the voice chat basically saying like oh you need to heal and boom there it is the second of the imprisons so now he's like okay well we know like he can't keep this up for eight more minutes like obviously like he's he, like if he if we keep it up that bad he's really gonna get zeroed um so now he's just trying to ride out the clock until he can uh use a peace shield basically until his war frenzy is over that's kind of the strategy here right and so uh, they both use the imprison both the kingdoms okay you got two kingdoms using imprison them over here and uh they launch another rally and he keeps just healing as best as he can there he goes from 77 up to 79 and we're just riding it out until the until the bubbles appear and like i really think these guys were going for they were going for the zero they were willing to trade at, and there's the bubble they were willing to trade as bad as they possibly could just to zero him and eventually they just didn't do it they just didn't get the zero it's almost sad but it's actually not because chiwi doesn't deserve to be zeroed he's such a nice guy okay and he's such a great player he handled this defense so well like i actually think he handled it flawlessly if i think about like if there's anything he could have done differently there was one moment where he missed a heal uh like the ability to heal just didn't pop up for him uh there was just no time in between attacks so he there was one time where he missed the heal but besides that and that wasn't even really his fault he was doing his best he played this super well he played this super well and like look obviously i'm biased because chiwi is like in our kingdom and so like i'm i'm obviously rooting for the garrison here in this video okay i'm not gonna pretend like i'm not but like if we're being real uh, the enemies here they did pretty much everything correctly as well if what they wanted to do was zero chiwi at all costs right like they had multiple rallies they had super powerful players launching those rallies they had super powerful players swarming the city um they did the double in prison like really they, they kind of they did a good job at, at, at trying to take the city down so like credit where credit is due they 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 pulled out they pulled out all the stops now would i've recommended that strategy no but like it was an effective execution of the strategy regardless so kudos to those guys for uh putting all the troops on the line okay now before we jump into the reports let's just take a look at what's chewy rocking on his wall now obviously it was a dito with Zhu Liang, and this is the gear that we got on our boy well, i guess i should say girl because the gears on dito but regardless uh everything here is special talented okay he has the full archer set all with archer talents he's also rocking the ring of doom with the archer talent and the concealed dagger as well so really impressive gear on his wall obviously okay i mean it's could you get better than this i guess slightly better yeah you, you sure you could but like this is good guys this is not like you don't probably want to swarm this but anyway taking a look at the armaments here we could see obviously all legendary armaments we have 8.8 percent archer attack 7.4 percent archer defense and 9.1 archer health we have five inscriptions on the legendary armaments we have hunter which gives him a bonus to skill damage this is the one you can get from the kvk shop we also have fit which gives him 3.5 percent more health as well centuries gives you two percent less damage when you're garrisoned so perfect for the scenario pursuer deals two percent extra damage to troops that are under 20 percent units remaining so every time that you saw someone swarming his city and they're in the red like he's just dealing extra damage to them and rapacious over here is just 1.5 percent extra damage so really solid armaments on the dito as well okay now let's take a closer look at some of these battle reports obviously this was the first report that we took a look at earlier with the insane three to one uh better than three to one kill trade which was kind of wild all of the stuff here if we scroll through there was no rally on this report if i remember correctly if we scroll through here i mean this is all just straight just straight deads from pretty much everybody involved which was kind of insane and then the other report that we shared uh this is the one that actually had the rally involved and here you can see the trade for the rally obviously the rally itself traded positive uh really strong rally there which is really nice but here we could see um obviously these are the different stratagems that Chiwi was rocking this one gives you 15 percent march speed so that was like the only one that didn't really matter here also I think this is deals like three percent more damage on the map or something like that so not the perfect stratagems for taking a city rally but like in general like these are reasonable to have on your account so here you could see the stats uh, Archer Garrison has more stats than the Archer rally here uh Chiwi has like 30 percent more attack 
which is crazy they have about the same defense and um, the rally has about six percent more health but still obviously really impressive gear on the rally as well then if we scroll all the way down you could see that uh, the rally actually had a little bit more all damage as well as more normal attack damage whereas chiwi had more skill damage which was nice counter attack damage was almost negligible skill damage reduction all that stuff counter attack damage reduction was higher on the rally skill damage boost was higher on the garrison for chiwi i mentioned earlier that i would show off the player that launched this first rally this is great 1v he has uh, i think last time i checked i think he broke 15 billion kill points if i remember correctly so congrats to him but this dude is a savage okay obviously so it's not like chiwi was getting hit by like some wimpy rally like this dude this dude popped off okay so kudos to them for launching some uh some insane rallies over here okay now let's take a look at some of the other reports that we didn't already look at okay so this one we see uh zero dead from chiwi literally none he didn't lose a single troop from this entire report enemy lost 344,000 kill points are uh, looks like about 1.5 million more kill points on the garrison side here yeah pretty good uh pretty good trades all around here for Chiwi on this battle report I don't believe that there was a rally involved with this report either uh probably why he has zero deads here but you could scroll through and all these players I mean they have expansions on a lot of these players have over 300,000 and some of them have over 400,000 troops in their army so like these are whale players that are swarming down Chiwi next we take a look at this battle report we see uh, 43,000 dead for Chiwi and 327,000 dead for the swarmers and this was almost two to one almost not not quite there this one also i believe did not have any rallies involved um and once again you can go through and like all these players have massive troop capacities so you know like these dudes bro some of these players are max tech also like what what was the strategy here i was actually confused were they like trying to get the debuff from Tao Tao's active skill like what i don't i don't know i mean i mean he got he got more kill points but like the dead trade was kind of kind of not there i don't i don't really know what's going on there uh some of these armies i mean let me be real realistic here a lot of the armies that they are swarming him with are very powerful armies like you know i'm not trying to like make it look like these guys are trash like these these players like they know what they're doing a lot of these armies are really good okay if you watched my video a few weeks ago where except for that alphabet saladin but if you watched my video a few weeks ago with the 222 million max power player uh where they got zeroed a lot of people swarming that player were not using good armies that was not the case with these guys most of them were doing the right thing but there were obviously a couple sprinkled in that had questionable armies the next battle report we see about 40,000 dead for chiwi and 600,000 dead for the swarmers like that is crazy okay that is a, a crazy trade there this report also uh no rally involved here but you can see a couple of these players with their uh 400 000, uh, look, look at that one 400 414 000 troop capacity crazy next we see 329,000 dead for chiwi and 707,000 dead for the swarmers kill points were pretty even to be honest with you but we got like a two to one trade here uh in favor of chiwi as far as the dead count goes so that is uh that's pretty nice stuff there now this report did have the attila nevsky okay uh you can see they have over 700,000 kill points from the rally we take a look at the buffs here obviously fully expertise they do have all of uh some of the best you know stratagems for this for this type of thing for rallying a player so that's something that you would expect to see some pretty good uh you know cavalry equipment over here obviously we are missing a couple of special talents but overall like damage delta archers nine percent that's from the from the talents really good stuff they have more all damage they have more normal attack damage um we also see skill damage reduction over here as well uh counter attack damage reduction so really powerful rally for sure next report is three thousand deads to three hundred and sixty one thousand deads wow 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 <laughs> so here we can see 6.7 million kill points on uh chiwi side 10 million kill points on the swarming side so these guys obviously won the kill point trade on that one and this one i do not believe involved any of the uh rallies either just a bunch of uh thick players a bunch of a bunch of stacked players swarming down our boy chiwi and uh doing some damage while they're at it next report we have 71,000 deads for chiwi and 740,000 deads for the swarmers uh very similar kill points slight advantage over here for chiwi on the defensive side this one also i do not believe had any of the any of the rallies either we got some questionable uh icons from these players as well which is really interesting stuff there 
but as you go through here you could see like like guan honda kind of a questionable army but like most of these uh most of these armies are are not questionable right like these are these are decent these are decent armies dare i say most of them are meta right like these are these are good armies next report was chiwi's worst report and this was the one where he actually i don't believe he was able to get off hit the heel so this was definitely his worst report as far as the dead trade goes we have 873,000 deads for chiwi and 627,000 deads for the swarmers they obviously won the kill point trade here by a couple million so um this one definitely went in favor of the attacking armies almost all the damage was done from just super uh, high capacity swarmers basically that that's what all this was next report was again a two to one better than a two to one dead trade for chiwi we have almost 700,000 deads for chiwi but 1.5 million deads for the enemy we have 28 almost 29 million kill points gained for chiwi and about 22.6 million kill points gained for the uh swarming armies here we see an ethel fled caesar like what is going on there like what what, what, what was like you almost lost uh, like bro what <laughs> that is a that is a wild choice to be honest with you this is the last report we have 150,000 deads for chiwi and 400,000 deads for the enemies here almost 8 million kill points to the 15 million kill points from the attacker side so the attackers definitely won the kill point trade but uh took a lot of deads trying to do it and this report is the one that actually has the nevsky joan rally which is why they got so many more kill points from uh from this this trade here so we see the the rally actually traded really well over 10 million kill points over there obviously two to one dead trades which is unfortunate for them but we could take a look at the true buffs you could see they've got some decent cavalry gear over here i think the cavalry attack was higher on the other rally the one with the nevs the attila nevsky but overall like really good stuff here obviously they've got talents on their gear which is some impressive stuff over there okay they also have a little bit more all damage normal attack damage less skill damage but they have more for pretty much everything else here as well so again really powerful rally from these guys they are not messing around although i will question the stratagems here um i guess i shouldn't really question it too much they probably picked these for field fighting i don't suspect that they picked these to do rallies but like martial talent here like this is the one that lets you switch troop types so like obviously we have both cavalry here there was no switching involved so i'm not really sure like that's kind of just a waste of a slot here for doing a city rally but again they probably picked these for just open field fighting so i assume that's that that was their strategy with the stratagems and then the rest of the report is pretty much what you would expect uh just a bunch of really high troop capacity armies swarming down our boy chiwi okay so i pulled all the stats into a spreadsheet here and there was 11 total reports on from chiwi's side as as the garrison and you can see here that he took over 2.5 million deads so bro rest in peace for chiwi's troops by the way like that is an insane amount of dead troops to be taking to be honest with you guys okay no matter how much power you have like that's a lot of troops unless you're like baba or mimi or someone insane like that's a lot of deads okay but he got 150 million kill points from this exchange which is nice the enemies took 8.1 million deads bro that's a 3.2 to 1 trade for chiwi an insanely positive trade for chiwi and not only that but he actually got more kill points as well because they got 141 million he went slightly positive for the kill points which is which is pretty impressive but the dead trade i mean this is this is what i was saying earlier in the video where it's like if you have a hundred million power player and he's online and you still have more kvk fighting to do like the trade the dead trade is this is not worth it like it, it i mean like from the attacker perspective like this is not it's actually kind of crazy again kudos to chiwi for this super super impressive city defense right now chiwi is sitting at 82.4 million power so he did lose a little over 20 million power from this exchange so i mean it's a devastating blow it is I mean that was that was a massive amount of troops to lose but it was a giga chat defense super positive from the dead perspective and overall I mean we take those I mean we, we take those and for everyone who is curious about my the current kvk that I'm in and you know an update on the drama okay this all this fighting that that I just showed in this video uh, from Kiwi City and everything all that happened in Gamer this zone just opened today and we decided to, to go in and just kind of play like a, a couple of hours of defense honestly uh obviously you could see here that like earth can come into this zone uh what's ever happening with fire like whatever they've got going on they can come into the zone as well and then of course it's mainly daybreak that's in this zone as well so there was never any like serious attempt for us to like push into the zone because 
we don't need the zone anyway so it's kind of just like burning and wasting troops that we could save for king's land as far as the ally structure of this kvk goes the water camp with the imperiums from 2133 and the warriors from 1813 have now joined us as far as allies go so daybreak betraying us and having all of the information come out about well you guys can go watch my video if you missed all the all the tea that was spilled in that video okay but basically now it is daybreak with earth and then whatever is left of fire up against us in greenwood and we are allied with uh, the water camp and also we are still obviously allied with the wind camp up in the top right corner so it should be an interesting remainder of kvk you know we'll see how things play out i think it could be uh it could be pretty interesting come king's land and i'm excited to see how the kvk ends but for those of you that do care daybreak flipped sides which caused water to then flip sides as well and those are the new allies here for kvk guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it if you don't want to do it for me at least do it for chiwi's troops i mean like he, he sacrificed a lot of troops here okay so drop a thumbs up on the video and while you're down there consider subscribing on the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and comment down below what you think of chewy's city defense i think he performed super well here obviously it was very expensive for him but i don't know if he could have possibly performed any better so so let me know what you think in the comment section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace